All right, so this is how we give kitties antibiotics. These particular kittens are on antibiotics currently. <clears throat> they started them when they were about four ounces, maybe five ounces, the kittens. And there was really no way to titrate dosage to figure out exactly what dosage to give them. They're foster kitties and um, they had an illness that really most agencies would automatically euthanize the litter. So it was kind of like, if you wanna try to save them, see what you can do, but it's probably not gonna work and it's probably not worth it. So we just sort of guesstimated. So what I do first is, since it's an antibiotic, I need milk in their stomach before, you don't wanna take antibiotics on an empty stomach because just like people, it'll upset the belly too much. So I give them a little bit of milk first. So the antibiotics will not be hitting an empty stomach. And they're very hungry. All right, so that's probably enough to get a little something in her belly. And I get the other one. Oh, come here, come here. This is Sansa, that was Aria. She's purring. Oh, she's so hungry, so hungry. All right, and then once I've gotten just enough in their bellies that they're not empty, <clears throat> we are giving them, uh, I believe it's commonly called Keflex, also known as cephalexin. So we took a capsule and cut it open, dumped out the powder that was inside the capsule into a little mortar and pestle thing. I take the nipple, which is wet because they just were drinking from it, and I basically get powder all the way around the nipple. And again, we can't, you know, titrate dosage exactly but this seemed roughly like what would work for their size. Okay, so I get a little gob of powder on it, get it, kind of just get it all the way around the nipple. It tastes horrible, they don't like it. So what you have to do <clears throat> is get them all excited to have some more milk. She's sneezing. And uh, try to get it when their mouth opens. I usually like to wait till they meow and pop the whole thing right in. I think they can smell it though. <laughs> it smells horrible, it smells like sulfur. So I think they smell it and then they, they don't want it, but usually they're still so hungry. <laughs> We're in. Oh, that was an open mouth, I missed it. There we go. All right, so you gotta get the milk going right away or they'll just react to the taste of the powder and then they'll reject it completely and it'll be so much harder for you. So, and then I go ahead and, I don't want her to completely finish this syringe because I still have to give her sister some and it's much harder to do from a bottle because you can really, really control how much milk they get from the syringe. So here goes Sansa. And I do the same thing, get some on the nipple, try to get some to stick. Okay, that's good. She usually yells a lot more, so her mouth will probably open quicker. Oop, you missed it. There we go. Right in, start the milk. And down the hatch it goes. And that is how you do antibiotics. I also like to follow up with lots and lots of milk from their separate bottle just to help them digest after getting antibiotics.